Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Anthony with GameZone, and we're back in RoboCraft here to give you some really good advice. Uh, in the first Let's Play that we did, it was not very good. I was just checking it out, going for a run, uh, but I have learned so much more, uh, as you can see here by um, my multicolored, shiny, tank-looking thing. I have learned some things, and I'd like to pass that on to you, okay? Without much uh, ado and fanfare, I will just continue now and uh, tell you about this game. Okay, so RoboCraft is a free-to-play game. You can get it on Steam. And one of the things that you want to do to start... Let me just start at the beginning. Okay, so you hit Tab. Up here you have your inventory. Okay, this is all the items that you own. Over here you have the Cube Depot. If you need to buy items, you just click on these items and buy them. Buy cubes. And you're set. Now once you've bought those cubes in this window, and then also your movement, hardware... All of these things, cosmetics, which you get for in-game money, all of this stuff you can buy. Now, you're saying, well, there's more than just this, right? Yes. That is when we go to the tech tree. You go to the tech tree, and the tech tree works like this. You start here, and then you start unlocking things with stars. Now, you'll notice this number here. It says 3, and then you'll notice 107 next to it. That means I have 107 level tier 3 stars. So up here I have, over here you have your one, two, three, all the way to 10, and then you have Uber down here at the bottom, okay? And we'll get to that in a second. So this is how the tech tree works. As you play with your basic level one gear, you will collect level one stars. So let's go to the garage, and I will show you my level one vehicle right here. You can give it a name. I gave it a bunch of binary numbers because we're robots. So over here, this is a level one vehicle. If you look down at the bottom tier, down at the bottom of the garage here, at the, it's down here. When I hit tab, you'll see again right there. Okay, so we're in tier one. This is a tier one vehicle because it has mostly tier one parts. Okay, now you'll notice at the top right, right here, we have zero tier one stars because I'm kind of moving my way up to tier three and four and so on. But if I were to play with this vehicle... I would get tier one stars and I would be able to unlock things in the tier one tech tree. All right. And then as we move, I say, all right, like you're agreeing or saying something, but you can't, I can't hear you. I can't, I'm sorry. So as we unlock things, we get more parts. Now, when we put those parts on other vehicles, they move up in rank. So this robot is still tier one. So let's go over here to this robot. This robot's tier three. Why is this robot tier three? Well, uh, I'll go ahead and remove some things. And as I'm removing them, look at that bar on the bottom. See how it's going down? As I remove weapons, this vehicle starts to move down to tier two again. If I were to remove all of these weapons, we would be, you know, we'd be pretty close. So if I remove some more stuff off the back here, like this uh, radar jammer, boom. Okay, so now this is a tier two, and notice the stars on the top changed. This is now a tier two vehicle that will only get tier two stars. Got me? Over here, you've got your RP. This is in-game money that you get for playing the game. That's what you would use to buy things at the Cube Depot. And what things are available in the Cube Depot? Only the things that you've unlocked with your stars in the tech tree. Now, what are Uber points? Great question. Let's say I want to buy this thing over here, but I don't have enough tech points and uh, I need Uber points. Well, Uber points, what the game has done here is they've said, okay, you have, like, let's say you've got a whole bunch of tech points. All right, what happens in this game is what's happening to me right now here in level three. So in tier three, I can't get enough in-game money to buy the higher tiered items to move me up a tier. Does that make sense? So what I'm doing is I'm trying to earn money, but while I'm earning money, I'm also earning a crap ton of level three tech points. What's going to happen is I am going to eventually get enough money to move up to tier four, and then I'll start getting tier four points, which will let me unlock uh, this over here, for example. Okay, I need 29... Uh, tier four points for that okay so right now i'll have a bunch of leftover stars level three stars that i don't need what the game lets you do is convert those stars into uber tech points 
So down here it says, all right, you want to buy this? Well, it's eight. It's either eight uh, level five tokens or it's eight Uber tokens. So you can do that. Of course, as you'll notice, as I increase this number, uh, the GC cost goes up. And this is actual real game currency. You start with 100 of these at the beginning, but ultimately you're left with zero like I have here. And you'd have to put real money into this game. I know some people that dropped about five bucks into this game and they said they loved it. Um, I will not tell you to spend money on this game. It is free to play and uh, you don't have to spend money if you don't want to. But that's how that works over there. Let's think, what else did I learn? Okay, also, I don't know if you'll notice this. People have been typing colored uh, text into chat. And just to show you how that works, in case you're wondering, forward slash MSG, oops, forward slash MSG, three spaces, one, two, three, bracket, oops, bracket, and then you're going to put in a color code. So, um, uh, it's got to be caps. I think uh, FF0000 bracket and then space and then words. And then that will change the color. So I changed it to blue. Okay. And that's how you change the color of your text in chat, which apparently seems to be a big deal to people. And I don't see why. All right. Let's go ahead and slap the guns back on this thing. Go back in my inventory. Go to hardware. So what I'm going to do is I have three level four cannons. I'm going to put those here. They require a lot of space. And I don't know why that won't let me do that, but it'll let me do that. But it rotates, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I have three of those. Hang on. And then I put my other rail cannons. My level three rail cannons go here. All right. And now I am going to show you how to play this game. I don't know my radar jammer. Let's put that back on. Uh, how I play this game. I'm sorry. I'm not to not to tell you how you play this game, but how I play this game. And I go with the rail cannons. And uh, also, uh, one thing I didn't show you that I really wanted to show you was you want to make sure that your uh, the. Hang on. We're gonna get out of this game because that's not right. I need to show you this. If you ever need to get out of a game for any reason. Like, sometimes the game... Dro this is the cheapest thing ever. If the sometimes the game will drop you, right? And you'll roll over and you'll just fall to your death. It's terrible. Not, not to your death, but you'll just, you'll just fall over. And what I'll show you here is... Um, we'll just take a quick spin around. I'll show you how my ship... My ship... My tank operates here. See? See that? All right. So I will show you um, kind of my solution for that. Also, be careful uh, running into other players. They can knock you over. All right, so it looks like my cannons are online. So this is a great... I'm actually out farther than I'd like to be. I'll show you the death thing in a second. But right now, since we're in a game, I, I don't want to ruin that. So with these rail guns, you want to... What do I call them? Ion cannons? I don't know. Rail guns. They're rail guns. Uh, in these rail guns... Oh, he's just... Yeah, he just got lit up. These rail guns shoot across the map. If you can see it, you can hit it. The only problem is the recharge time is incredibly long. So, uh-oh. All right, up here we have probably one of the most difficult enemies in the game. Uh, you can build one of these. I don't know how yet. I'm still working on it. Uh, these are basically just planes with plasma cannons. And plasma cannons are super deadly. Uh, these guys just fly around and they just keep hitting you. What do we got here? Oh, missed that. You really want to pick your shots and be careful. You don't want to go out too far because, again, you're a... Nope. Because the recharge time is so high, you want to stay back as far as possible. A really good spot on this map... Ooh, drift! Ooh. really good spot on this map is up here. So, I don't remember the name of this one. Crater? Something Crater? Go up here, we'll find a nice sniping spot. And that's what you are when you go for the uh, rail, rail gun, you're going as a sniper. All right, go up here to this little spot here. Dun, 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 dun. 
Look at that. Look at all that sniping. And you want to be careful as as an uh as this kind of vehicle because you really don't want to get yourself you don't want to get rushed and there's guys that can rush you. It's you know, if it's a tank with plasma cannons all over it, those will wreck you. So you want to make sure that you're not uh, getting uh, getting hit by those. So you really want to just, this particular thing, you want to play it back. Oh, we killed a guy. Awesome. And if you can, you want to aim for the block just underneath the enemy's seat. Now, you can see where my guy is sitting right down there. And if someone were to hit that block that's, that his seat is located at, the block just under his seat, it would completely blow up my entire ship. So anyone who has an exposed seat, um, they need to be careful. Let's see, this guy, this is one of our guys flying around. Hey, we won. So you want to make sure that the, the block underneath your seat is super heavily uh, armored with the heaviest armor that you have. All right, so we got a victory. Let's see, we get some points. One kill, one assist. And I have it set to auto repair, uh, but it wasn't too expensive, so uh, we auto repaired. And now I'm going to show you what we're rolling with here. So I've got a couple different plates on here. Um, don't mind that. There's no way to really get rid of that. Let me try and make it something a little less obnoxious. Okay, so I got some some different plates. I was messing with some different plates. This one's called interior. That's why it's got like that weird cut on the side of it. I was just trying to make it more round, round the edges of my tank. Uh, these are thrusters down here. Those help with speed. But let me show you the under undercarriage, the delicate undercarriage. So down here, this is where my seat is located. So these two blocks are the strongest blocks I have. These are level three, tier three armor blocks. These are also armor, armor blocks. Now these black blocks, black blocks, be careful. These are called heavy chassis cubes. This is the heavy chassis prism. These are not armor. These are weight. If you want armor, you need to use armored cubes. Don't use these cubes unless you're trying to create weight. So that's what I have here. So just like a, I don't know if you were ever a Boy Scout. Um, when I was a Boy Scout, I made uh, a, soapbox car, a soapbox car, did the soapbox derby. You know, you'd put those little weights like on the front and the back and, you know, you can only put a certain amount of them. Um, that's basically what this is down here. You know, when I did the soapbox race, I will never forget. First of all, my dad never helped me build my soapbox car. I just want to be clear. He never helped me build it, but it was this really cool, like bright orange. It had flames on the sides and the weights were like little exhaust tubes. It was the coolest thing. And this one kid showed up with his dad and all his race car was, uh, all it was, was a, uh, a flat piece of wood and a weight at the front. And technically it met regulations, but it was pretty messed up. And I'd like to think that I learned a valuable lesson that day. And I'm glad I didn't cheat because I really liked that car. And I didn't come in first or second. I think I maybe came in third or fourth. I think I might, I think it might have been fourth place, which so I guess I didn't place. But it was a nice looking soapbox car. And I was happy about that. And that's what I think of when I put the weights on the bottom of my tank.